Welcome to Leadership Moments. In every great leader's life, there are pivotal moments that shape their character, test their resilience, and awaken their vision. Together, we'll uncover the invaluable lessons hidden within these transformative moments. You know, Tracy Ann, since you and I have started this podcast, we typically talk about and to business leaders. Although there are recent events where you and I discussed how we are able to show how you can actually learn leadership tips from all aspects of life. And I've been a Michigander my entire life and living in Southeastern Michigan. I am also a lifetime Detroit Lions American football fan. So today we've decided to dissect a topic that's been in the center of many sports debates this week, the Detroit Lions last game and the crucial decisions made by their head coach, Dan Campbell. Now, we're not going to talk about whether his decisions were right or wrong. No doubt, all of you have your own opinion, and there has been enough discussion about that in the media and maybe even in your own homes. Yeah. So, Stacey, there's been a lot of discussion about this in our home. We are diehard Detroit Lions fans. Very happy to be that. But, you know, the Lions' recent outing was not just a display of athletic prowess. But it was also a testament to the weight of leadership decisions made in moments of intense pressure. Now, we've all been there, okay? Maybe not to go and win the Super Bowl, but we've all been there, okay? And Dan Campbell is a figure admired for his passion and his commitment. You know, he found himself at the crossroads of a critical decision-making that arguably influenced the game's outcome. Yeah. You know, Dan Campbell's leadership style has always been about wearing his heart on his sleeve, advocating a team first mentality and making bold decisions. He credits Sean Payton, who he says he's learned the most from on situational football, hiring, compatibility versus coachability, player consistency, and when to go for it and when not to. His introductory speech was a true demonstration of who he is as a leader. It's not about the best 53-player roster. It's about the right 53, emphasizing his belief in compatibility. But in the heart of the game, every call, every play becomes a potential turning point. So let's unpack the moments that define the Lions' performance and what leaders can learn from Campbell's approach under fire. So first, let's talk about the decisions that defined the game and the controversial calls. One of the most talked about is the decision to go for it on fourth down in a critical moment. It was a high risk, high reward scenario that unfortunately didn't pay off this time. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. You know, the Lions went for it on fourth down 34% of the time during regular season, the highest rate of any team the century, according to the ESPN stats. The first one was late in the third quarter. It was fourth and second. The stats say if they went for it, they had a 90.5% chance of converting if they elected to kick a field goal. And there was a 90.3% chance of making it. So if the wide receiver would have caught the ball, they would have gotten a first down. The other decision to go for it was on fourth and third with seven minutes to go in the game. Also a toss up, right? The percent to go for it was 39.1%, and the percent to kick a field goal was 38.8%. Unfortunately, as we know, they had an amazing defense, they made adjustments, and the Lions could not convert. So while many questioned these decisions, it actually speaks volumes about Campbell's confidence in his team, which not many people are talking about, by the way. You know, which many of these players actually supported 100%. So it's a leadership lesson in trust and risk-taking. You know, as leaders, trusting your team, making those bold moves is essential. But it also comes with the territory of criticism and consequence. Yeah, and you think about us as leaders, we take data We take our trust in our team all the time in order for us to make decisions. And that's exactly what happened here, too. 
And we have to think about how that happens, right? So another moment that's been under the microscope is the play calling in the final quarter. With the clock ticking and the game on the line, the choices made here were pivotal. Most argue that a more conservative approach might have preserved more time for them to get the ball back to win or tie the game at the end. But you know, that was a crucial point. It actually highlights the balance leaders must strike between aggression and caution. Campbell's decisions are a reminder that leadership often involves making calls under pressure. It's always high stakes, okay? His decision to run it instead of pass it, while may have been an emotional one, ultimately was not the right decision. Yeah, this game was a textbook example of leadership under pressure. Campbell had to make split-second decisions, each with its own set of risks and rewards, and in this case, this was an error of coaching and came with significant consequences that shaped the outcome of the game. It's a stark reminder of the weight carried by leaders in any field. Yeah, and you know, it's not just about making decisions, but owning them. You know, after the game, Campbell stood by his choices. He faced those consequences head on. This accountability is a cornerstone of leadership. It's about being responsible for your decisions, for better or worse. And what that teaches your team about integrity and also about resilience. Yeah, so what can leaders learn from Dan Campbell's example? First, the importance of decisiveness in leadership. Hesitation can be as damaging as making the wrong decision. Campbell's willingness to make bold calls is a testament to his decisive nature and got him to where he is today. Yeah, let's not forget that. You know, there's also the lesson of resilience. Despite the outcome, Campbell and his team will go back, they'll analyze, they're going to learn, they're going to prepare for the next challenge. They're not going to give up, right? This is a team that's full of grit and resilience. This ability to really face these setbacks and move forward is invaluable for us as leaders. And we see this in the way his team are following him and supporting him right now. Yeah. And finally, the power of belief. Campbell's belief in his team's ability to execute his vision, even when the stakes are high, is a powerful reminder of the importance of trust in leadership. However, football, as in business, you can have a perfect plan or a coach or a perfect game, but it all comes down to your ability to execute. And unfortunately for the Lions, there were many plays that did not execute or made mistakes during the second half that led them to losing the game. Yeah, for sure. But you know, Dan Campbell's decision during that last Detroit Lions game for me is a it's really this profound study in leadership because while not every call was met with success, there were deep lessons in trust, decisiveness, resilience, and that accountability really shone through for me. Yeah, leaders remember. It's not the outcome, but the journey and the growth it brings. Campbell's journey this season is a masterclass in leadership under pressure, offering invaluable insights for leaders as well. And, you know, I go back to Dan Campbell's introductory speech as the Detroit Lions head coach. I don't know if any of you saw that, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It wasn't just a roadmap for the team's future and his leadership, but it was a clear declaration of his leadership values and philosophy. He put it on the table. His emphasis on resilience, grit, teamwork, aggression, <laughs> transparency, and accountability, setting a high bar for both himself and his team, and aiming to build a culture that mirrors the spirit of Detroit, which, by the way, then brings that whole community tough, united, relentless in the face of challenges. And he had the whole community backing him. The stadium was roaring. You know, it was crazy, but it was because he put it out there. One of the loudest stadiums in the country by far. His leadership style showcases the importance of consistency and building trust, fostering a positive culture, encouraging risk-taking, and guiding a team through the highs and lows of a season. And let's not forget the power of his humbleness. That alone builds trust and a positive culture. Well, this consistency is not just about sticking to a routine, but about being steadfast in one's principles, expectations, and support for the team, 
which is invaluable in navigating the complexities of leadership in high stakes environments. Yeah, that's right. The critique that Dan Campbell may have lost the team the game by adhering too strictly to his playbook raises an important question about flexibility and adaptability in leadership, especially in high stakes situations. So the decision whether to stick to one's established playbook or deviate from it in response to unfolding events is a complex one, deeply contextual, and it really depends on numerous factors, including what's the game situation, what's the team's capabilities, you know, who's on the field, who's off the field, what's the nature of the opposition. So it's never a straight answer, which is why experience matters. But a lot's of food for thought for all of us as leaders because it is complex. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Tracy. And, you know, all leaders at some point will make the wrong decision. And sometimes those decisions can go as far as costing people or even your own job. I know it is tough, but remember, it is your response to it as to how others will remember you, not necessarily the wrong decision you made in the first place. Your ownership and positive, actionable response will also build your resiliency and rebuild trust in yourself. So take a few minutes to be upset about it and then move on. There is so much more to unpack here, but about resilience, accountability, team compatibility, but I think we're running out of time and we'll have to continue this to expand it on our future topics as our future episodes that are coming up. Yeah, I'd say so, I'm going to tell you. The word of the year is resilience, and we will continue to keep talking about that. Absolutely. And go Lions! I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes another episode of Leadership Moments. We hope you found inspiration and valuable insights in what we shared today. Remember, leadership is not defined solely by titles or positions, but by the choices we make and the moments that shape us. Embrace the challenges that come your way. They may be the very moments that propel you toward greatness. We'd love to hear your thoughts and stories as well. Connect with us on our website at leadershipmomentspodcast.com or through social media on Instagram at tap underscore be the game changer. And Stacey Caster underscore. Remember, your leadership moment could be just around the corner waiting for you to seize it. This is Stacey Caster, and what doesn't challenge you won't change you. This is Tracy Ann Palmer, and be the change you wish to see in the world.